So you've decided to start up an aquarium. And suddenly, people are asking you all these questions. The main one being whether or not your tank is cycled. And of course, you're probably a bit confused. So what is cycling? First, let's begin with what happens when you don't cycle. You may overfeed your fish, and the leftover food begins to decay. Your fish emits ammonia and waste, which also decays. This causes the water to quickly become toxic, and before you know it, your fish is dead. Fish waste and leftover food all result in ammonia. This is where the cycle comes into play. The cycle in your aquarium is essentially establishing nitrifying bacteria in your aquarium. You want these bacteria because they'll convert this toxic ammonia into nitrite. Nitrite is still toxic, but the bacteria will then convert it into nitrate. Nitrate is far less toxic than ammonia or nitrite, and the fish can live with it being present in the aquarium. Once nitrite exceeds 20 ppm, it will begin to make the fish ill. When this happens, you will want to do a water change, where you replace nitrate-rich water with clean water, thus reducing the nitrates in the aquarium. Plants can also absorb nitrate. Where do nitrifying bacteria come from? Some products on the market claim to instantly start your cycle. Most of these products only promote the growth of bacteria and do not actually have bacteria in them. None of these types of products will instantly cycle your tank. Some speculate that fish can carry nitrifying bacteria into the aquarium. There's also speculation that tap water and water from another aquarium will carry this bacteria. Even plants or other outside sources could carry the bacteria into the aquarium. Nitrifying bacteria live in the substrate and decor, and even a small amount live in the water column. However, most of the bacteria actually live in the porous filter material. Keep in mind that nitrifying bacteria need food, water, and oxygen to survive. Rinsing the filter out in tap water that has chlorine can kill nitrifying bacteria. Antibiotics you may be treating your animals with could also destroy your bacteria. Unplugging the filter reduces the oxygen and food supply to the bacteria, thus killing them as well. How do you begin your cycle? You will need a water test kit, a filter, dechlorinator, if your tap has chlorine, an ammonia source, such as pure bottled ammonia, fish, or fish food, and a lot of time. There's no set length of time it takes to cycle an aquarium. It could take months. To start, dechlorinate all water going into the aquarium. Add your ammonia source until the water tests at four parts per million ammonia. Add ammonia to replenish the ammonia that is converted into nitrate and then nitrate. Then, just give it time testing occasionally to see any progress. You will know your aquarium is cycled once your ammonia tests at zero. Nitrate is zero, and nitrate is higher than where you began. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Also, please hit the little bell so that you will enable notifications for new videos that are uploaded.